Here with Isaiah Warfield, senior 6'4 guard, going to Liberty next year. Just talk about tonight. I know you guys played them close early on in the year. What You guys kind of fell behind early, 15 yeah, point I mean, lead, what uh, happened? We just talked about it. I mean, coming out the first half, they seemed like they were making everything they shot. We came out a little slow on the offensive end, but shots weren't falling early, and they jumped on us. So. Like, you personally, it seemed like you were getting good looks in the first half, yeah, just, just missing, fall, yeah. and the foul trouble. Just speak on that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I just got to make better decisions, and the backcourt uh, just made some early fouls that I, caught, I shouldn't have committed, and then, uh, just got to play a little bit smarter. You had 20, and you came back with 20 in the second half with four fouls for most of the time. How hard is that to kind of keep grounded and just play your game still? Um, I mean, I didn't know what I, the work I put in outside of, the, outside of practice and this. Uh, I, I had cost, kept my confidence. So I knew I was going to be able to uh, what do you, up the team. What do you think like the next step to your game is for next year, the next uh, couple of years? To get, I mean, to get ready for college, I know I definitely got to get stronger and uh, work on getting my jumper more consistent. And, I mean, mostly just get, I just want to get real strong and put some weight on. Can, can you just talk a little bit about the decision to go to Liberty? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, I took a couple visits. Uh, I visited a couple bigger schools. Uh, Butler was my first. Went to Penn State. I saw a couple different schools, but uh, when I went down to Liberty, I fell in love with the campus and uh, coaching stuff. I really love Coach McKay. And, uh, I feel, I feel like a personal connection that they really care about me down there, so that's why it's why I chose to do. Was it a big thing knowing that you're going to be able to make the tournament there only have one loss this year? Yeah, I mean, I committed right after the uh, one year first. Um, sorry. Uh, I committed after they won, uh, won the first round last year. I just wanted to, I saw that how they played together and how Coach McKay coached, and knowing that they're going to uh, we'll be able to make the tournament every year on that. Just, Definitely helped with the decision. For the rest of this year, I know you guys are kind of struggling to make the playoffs right now. I think you got to win out to make it, maybe. Um, what are you guys going to kind of do to improve in these last couple games? Uh, I know we got to get, we got to go to practice and we got to work hard, real hard. Uh, just play, we got to get better on defense. Uh, just as a team, we got to stick together, uh, keep confidence in each other, and uh, get ready. How's the whole transition been from going to Swickley to here now? Um, I mean, it, was, it wasn't too hard. I mean, growing up here, uh, I went here through till seventh grade, and then I went to Swickley, but I stayed in touch with everybody around here. I never moved. I still live in the same neighborhood, just like down the street, but uh, 